My name is James Berger, and this is my story. I grew up in Glen Burnie area. Uh, when I was young, I was forced to go to church a lot. Uh, so when I became of the age uh, to choose whether I wanted to go to church or not, I went the opposite direction and was more worried about um, pleasing people and, um, I mean, myself, you know, wanting to chase the pleasures of this world and everything. Um, ended up uh, with... with had a, my first daughter at 19 and, you know, had a rocky relationship there. Relationship didn't end up working out. Uh, that led me into a really deep, deep depression. Um, and so that was my uh, first major depression. And so I would try to mask the pain uh, with, with, with alcohol, with um, drugs and stuff. And so where that led me was just my rock bottom. And I wish that on nobody. Um, because it's the worst place to be. And so at that time, I, um, you know, like I said, I was forced to go to church before and um, went the opposite way when I was able to. So at my rock bottom, I looked up and I just prayed. I said, uh, God, if you're there, please help me because I can't do this on my own. At the time I had an infant, um, Brianna, and, uh, you know, I, I needed to be a better dad. And I, I was just like, Lord, I can't be a good dad and do this. Please help me. Um, and at the time, I was thankful, you know, looking back that I that I was forced to go to church because I knew where to go. Uh, so I went straight over to Calvary Chapel on New Cut Road, and uh, that's where I went at the time. And well, they had like a two-hour service, and first part was was worship. The second part was was teaching and preaching. And so I would only I love music, and so I would only go for the first hour at first, and so then I would leave, right? But being depressed and that heavy weight, that cloud, um, you would do almost anything just for relief, right? And during the praise and worship, that cloud, that dark, heavy cloud of depression was lifted. And so when that happened, I was like, wow, God, this is you. And so I would go back every week, uh, you know, and experience that. And so eventually the Lord met me right where I was at. And I just wanted to stay a little longer and listen uh, to the time when Pastor Sean was preaching and teaching and everything. And so, um, you know, one thing led to another. And then I, I, I love church and it, it, the Lord just transformed my heart there. And um, so that's where, that was 2003, 2004. So that's where kind of my faith journey really began, um, really began. And so from then to 2011, so we'll say since, since then, uh, a lot of personal growth, a lot of the Lord uh, restoring relationships, a lot of um, the Lord just showing me how real he is and how awesome he is. And so I uh, met my beautiful wife in 2011. Uh, we start coming to ACC about 2012, 2013. So from that point forward, it was just redemption. You know, he totally has redeemed my life. Um, as I said, I grew up getting in trouble with the drinking and stuff. Glen Burnie, right around here, the Old Mill area. Um, now, being a youth leader, I get to, you know, lead the youth around here in Glen Burnie, high school guys that are where I was at growing up in the same neighborhood. But now to be able to, you know, help mentor and help, you know, guide them kind of away from the path that I took, it's just a huge blessing. I'm just so thankful and uh, appreciative to the Lord for doing this. And um, now also here at Roman Christian Church being asked uh, to serve on the overseer team. Um, I never in a million years would have thought I would ever be qualified or um, in a place where I you know, could do something like that at this capacity. So I'm just incredibly thankful to God. He continues to show me his uh, his love, his grace, his mercy, and I'm weak, and, you know, we all have strengths, we all have weaknesses, uh, we still sin all the time, but, you know, it's, you know, God has redeemed me, and I'm so thankful, um, and so join me on this walk of life, you know, um, just saved by grace through faith, and um, thank you.